Hey folks, Dave here, and I'm returning to some RTS games with Jerem Gaming at long last. Hey everybody. We're not playing Total War tonight for once. We're actually playing Ancestors Legacy, the multiplayer closed beta of an upcoming release of a historical RTS game that's got some, what do you say, Jeremiah, some Age of Empires roots to it with some Total War mixed in? There's like Age of Empires with a little bit of Total War and maybe like some Company of Heroes MOBA type tendencies. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. And some good music, too. Some Witcher and some Viking all mixed together. Uh, we're playing against some absolutely massively difficult AI today. Um, I think we're in some serious trouble. Let's see how we do. All right, let's do it. Levi's ready to fight! Move! All right. Awesome! We're in the cold area. Uh, I'm going to make an archery range real quick. I figured I'd be one to go for the archery first. I'm also going to make a well. All right, so I see where you are. I'm going to go for uh, Echo. Okay, I'm going to wait till I have two units of um, infantry oh, right. before I go in. Good point. I'm going to hold here, and then later I will go to Echo. Oh, check out the witchcraft as your buildings are being built. <laughs> Straight up oh. witchcraft. Yeah, they're just standing and waving their arms, and then things happen. That's amazing. All right, well, I don't have any food, so I can't Watch actually them! build archers yet, but I will in a second. I guess we can explain how this game works as we're starting to build stuff here. Uh, this is a, I think it's the Annihilation mode. No, it's Domination. So we're going to fight over these capture points you guys see in the map here. Um, and then you get resources, wood and food and ore to keep building troops and upgrading your nation. And kind of like Conquest mode in Battlefield, whoever has the most of those capture areas gets like a, a tick rate for their points. Actually, on that note, would you mind going for Charlie? Let me take Delta, because Echo does not have any food. Yeah, yeah, I see that. All right, I'm going to go for me. Delta right now, Let's so go. I cannot starve. Okay. Yeah, I'm at plus zero for food, at least. Yeah, same here. So I think, so it looks like, if you look at the size on the map, Snap. some of them have big food, and some of them have little food, depending on the size of the icon. Same thing with uh, wood and ore. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. That makes sense. Also, whatever faction I am, they know how to build a town hall. It's like a gigantic guard tower is my town hall. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, the Anglo-Saxons know how to wear uh, beautiful blue and yellow striped outfits. So. Oh, I see that. That's very pretty, Jeremiah. <laughs> now look at my Viking tower. Oh. Oh yeah, you guys are very scary. We got a fight happening here over the town at, uh, I can't see it because the icon is... You're at, uh, Charlie. Do you need any help? They actually retreated. That's interesting. Okay, cool. Okay, capturing it, finally. Alright, I'm sending my guys to Echo. Definitely going for food. So a little bit like Age of Empires, it looks like quick expansion is going to be important. Yeah. The base building is interesting. It's neat that it's just pre-chosen, oh, so you can just upgrade and not think about it. But I do like building my own bases sometimes. Alright, I've uh, I've run into some enemies at Echo. I'm fighting them. <laughs> it's like you guys are wearing prison tunics. That's not oh. great. Wow, the blood effects are crazy detailed. Like, Total War level crazy detailed. I might make a strike out at A, just to help keep the pressure off of you. Alright, that'd be great. Ain't got nothing else going on. Alright, I got those guys to retreat. Enemy spotted. So I think they might have actually been attacking this town when I got here, because... Yeah. The also town already got, looked like... You got troops attacking your, your village there. Yeah. You need me to duck back? Um, yeah, because I'm going to starve if I don't. I'm sending one group over there, if you wouldn't mind sending one group. Okay, I'm hitting one of their villages first, and then I'll come back. I'm going to make them hurt. All right, we sounds good. Let's go. Yeah, they weren't ready for that, were you? Oh, shoot, they got another crowd coming to attack. Echo. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna chase these guys down and send one unit back to help you. All right. Leave them. Eyes on the enemy. Okay, cool. I've taken one of theirs from their side now. Nice. So I know you're hurting a bit, so let me try to get some more recruitment going. Alright, so I ran back. I've got two groups of slingers. I'm going to squad back up and head out. Alright, so I'm doing a, a replenish. The squad has to be close to the recruitment building, but then they can... Uh, I can get my dead people back. A little bit like Total War. Oh no, I'm pinned on a bridge from two sides. Look at my guys. This is horrible. No. Well, they're right, dead uh, then. One of those groups is probably going to turn around because I'm about to hit that town again. But yeah, I don't think it's too late to save you. No, they're dead men. It's a good last right. stand though. I'm building some melee uh, a barracks now so I can actually get some melee stuff. Realized I was low on houses was my problem. I could have been recruiting. Oh, here they come back. Yep, I lost C, but I'm going back now. <laughs> I kind of want to do a video just featuring what the peasants go through in this game. Because both sides just ravage their villages over and over again. Right now, it's a whole lot of running back and forth and screaming. All right, I'm building some ground units because right now my slingers they just they they can take something if there's no enemy, but they can't hold anything. Yeah, for sure. I'm replenishing my troops and then I'm gonna okay. help you at uh, D down there. Sweet, I'm going to age two. I've got three units heading to D. I'll try not to cap it because I know you're out of locations at the moment. All right, and I, I'm sending one group of spearmen over. Enemy spotted. Oh yeah, I see you down there. Yeah, if actually, if you could. If you could just go onto the bridge where your guys died and just hold that side, I should be yep. able to capture it back and hold it for a minute until I can get a couple troops over. <laughs> Look, Jeremiah, the peasants change their tunics when they're being captured. These guys are just constantly changing clothes. What absolute turncoats, like literal turncoats. Oh, you're attacking, you're capturing, you're capturing. I'm attacking, but I'm not gonna capture. I'm just helping you burn. Okay. Oh, I'm capturing, I'm capturing. Run, run. Okay, I stopped, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> That was a really fast capture. Yep, they got their village back on the other side of the river. A little bit of a glitch there. These guys appear to be freaking out a little bit next to the river. Uh, your guys? Yeah, it's a, a little pathfinding issue. So this is like Total War then. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, it's glitching out a little more than that. But, I mean, important to note, again, this is in beta, so... Yeah. I'm probing Village B a bit of my troops. See what's happening. Right. Oh, that's cool. It's snowing. Torch it! Oh, large force attacking north of me. We are under attack. Northeast. Eyes on the enemy. They're attacking us. Yep, that's a big squad. Got four units up there. Okay, pull my troops back now. All right. I'm having a couple of pathfinding issues getting them into the town center area, but I might have some spears over there in a minute. We'll see. 
<laughs> Can we blow up this bridge? <laughs> we would fix a lot of problems. Enemy troops north of your encampment. They want to fight, huh? Whoa. Like them. Oh, that's cool. I can just frighten them and force a unit to retreat. Then we can pick off the leftovers. Nice. That was awesome. I sent a whole unit retreating that was at full strength. Alright, hitting the other guys that are attacking me. Yep, look at him run. <laughs> These cleaver infantry are nasty. Look at the so the cleaver swords they're holding, Jeremiah. My guys. Which which guys are those? All of them. <laughs> oh, those like sawtooth looking things. Yeah, those are that's nasty. That's not even like medieval weapons. That's straight up like caveman swords. It's fantastic. All right, those guys are replenishing. I think they're having a hard time maintaining control over their points. Like, they're hitting us pretty frequently, but they're also not defending their own at all. We've spotted enemy troopers! Oh, nasty fight here, Jeremiah. Where at? The bridge. Alright, want me to send more people? Yeah, let me fall back a little bit. Oh, all I right. can't. I'll send both my squads in. I'm gonna bring one squad, make it two squads Ruben. back. Reinforcements are arriving now. All right. Okay, I'm right. getting to their squads to retreat now. That's a really helpful perk to thin out huge enemy attacks. And Jeremiah, I have a special gift for your settlement. Oh, do you? I'm bringing up a ballista. Ooh, you're. I think you're a little farther ahead than I am. Tech three, yeah. Oh, are we about to lose based on points? Yes, we are. Well. Well, that's what you get when you play the hardest difficulty the game offers. Yeah, we really felt like we could we could do that. So what I'm gonna do, Jeremiah, is I'm gonna hit all of their encampments at the same time and try to save us here. Sounds Don't really good. The troops for it, but I'm just gonna charge on in. Robin. I didn't realize with the fog of war, we couldn't tell that we were losing. You set the ballista up on the bridge, or no, you're pushing beyond the bridge. Yeah, I'm trying to take their encampment here. Alright, I'll come with you. Ooh, we found a whole bunch of guys at the other point, so we're not going to be able to take A. I will, however, take B. Run. What do I need? Not a whole lot, actually. Uh, I, we're, we're leveled out with them on points. Uh, Want to push and try to take something else? Yes, for sure. Um, Enemies here. They well, let's go for A while they're attacking C. <laughs> I'll get some more troops going up here. All my upgrades there at the blacksmith. You got guys coming past, coming towards us. I'm gonna send my ballista back to D, just as a, like a defensive. Oh, here we go. Yep. Here's a fight. 
There we go, hitting him from two sides. I'm losing my village in the middle. Ballista's on the way back now. Move it over there. Enemy Mina. Schneller. Our troopers are taking fire! Burn it! Enemies are hit! We're taking enemy fire! They will love them! Oh, that ballista got ambushed. That sucks. Hmm. They're not even capturing, they're just destroying. I'm gonna replenish my troops over at A. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go down into B, even with just two troops. Alright. I do like that when I'm in your town, I'm still able to replenish troops. Nice. I'm going to build some more units back in my place. Uh, I have taken place down south. Nice. So we've got some points coming back finally. Let's go. Line up, spare grouper. Oh, they have reinforcements incoming. I need more houses, that's the problem. Get ready for an attack on Alpha. All right. I lost Echo. I'm sending the group down. It's getting kind of frantic here. Okay. Actually, A might be safe. I'm going to retreat and replenish. Fall back. Dude, there's bodies everywhere down here near Alpha and Beta. <laughs> What is like Total War? You raise the town more and more times, it becomes less and less profitable. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we don't have anything left to give you. Ooh, these guys can place traps. They hide in pits in the ground, apparently. I'm putting pit traps. Right, so I saw the ability to do that. I wonder where. Oh, uh, can you put that on a bridge? Probably just in front of it. A very obvious pit trap, if you ask me, but. Alright, you got enemies in the middle. Okay, uh. Troops are catching up. I'll leave my slingers at, uh, Alpha. And then I'm gonna go hit, uh, Frank. Foxtrot. Foxtrot's what I meant. Although if they just did that, they are probably going to go do something scummy. Keep my main base. I'm going to have troops heading that way in just a second. Down to D again. All right, captured another. Nice. Oh, I think they hit the pit traps. Nice. Ooh. Where's that? That was an A. Uh, the big fight is now happening over here at D again. All right, I'm sending guys up from Foxtrot towards Beta. Starting to sound like Battlefield here. <laughs> Whatever the Viking names for those would have been, I'm sending guys to those. Troopin. 
Three groups attacking Beta. It's going to be a loss there in a minute. I'm about to lose my army to him. Ooh, Try retreat? Uh, retreat. I'm going to punish these guys and then come help you. I'm retreating back to uh, F. And then I will join you here once my guys All right, are replenish. We're, we're plus 10 on the points here. Plus 6. <laughs> Just lost C. I'm just not getting enough houses where I can actually defend what I've captured instead of attacking incessantly. Okay, making a push for V now with four units. All right, I'm going to let my guys uh, rest and recover. Yep, they're hitting F. Should be fine. Bringing a catapult up to this bridge to just shut it down. <laughs> the ballista seems to have some uh, issues aiming right now. I wish I mean that I don't know how to aim it. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming in with my guys to help capture that. Capture beta. It looks like you upgrade individual units. Two units heading towards your lower village there with your archers. Yep, my guys are going to get wiped out really fast. Real fast. They are not equipped for that. Alright, looks like you got this. I'm following my guys back to help try to take my, my areas back. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to make these guys retreat with a little bit of Viking rage here. <laughs> what a mess there at Beta. We're coming back from a nasty point deficit there, that's for sure. Let's go. I'm gonna scout their base out next, I think. I'm moving my defensive lines up to Beta across the river. Retreat. Well, you're doing pretty well. Getting there. Getting there. I'm gonna slowly. get. I'm gonna get one big army and just take them all at the same time. I think. So I'm gonna, yeah. Because I'm trading back and forth with them, but I just keep losing stuff. So I need a little more of an elaborate army. Got quite the settlement going up here. I'm just going to have my catapult shell the gates to the B area. <laughs> nice. Alright, we're slowly, we're gaining ground here. I think we can do this. Yeah, yep, here they come. Right. They're coming back to beta, yeah. Oh, I'm nice. Sorry. That catapult hit him really hard. Oh, the enemy. I can't really help you at beta at the moment. They've got a couple of their units are at level 3 now. But they must be I've... running a pretty strong tech. Yeah, I've been level 3 for a while, so I'm not too worried. No, I mean some of the individual units are 3. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, mine are all still mostly 1. I need to... I'm not in tech 3 yet. I, uh... I don't have enough stuff. Wow, the catapult's making them retreat before they even get close. Even without hitting them, they just panic. Enemies ahead. Light your torches. Oh, dude, that's cool. You can have them light torches to increase their line of sight, but then they're more visible the other direction as well. Start ready. 
across from him get up here. This is so great. I have so many troops on beta, they're scared to even go inside the gates, so they keep charging in and then retreating nonstop. No if you move. don't mind, um, let me capture Foxtrot. Oh, you're yeah. not near Foxtrot, never mind. Yeah, you're good. Because because your color occupied. is green, I keep highlighting my guys. I see that they're green, and I'm like, oh, that must be Dave. <laughs> wow, I did the capture in literally two seconds. Beautiful. All right, that worked out. Oh, wow, their higher level troops are doing a number on me. I'm going to have my catapult drop a shell. No, no, you got it. You got it. Yeah, yeah, I think I got it just slow. All right, we're at plus 20 now. All right, I've got some of them retreating. Nice, nice. They're running back. I'm chasing them in. I'll be besieging their barracks here in a minute. Oh, they got three more groups. Oh, no, those are the ones I just chased back in. Okay, we're good. Bringing some cavalry in to help you down south. Catapult, destroy their barracks. Oh, yeah, that's on fire. Burn it down. Troopers. On your feet. There they are. They will crumble. Alright, we're taking some heavy losses on troops. So I don't think we're out of the woods quite yet. I might be able to actually uh, take out this base all in one go here. I've got a couple more units on the way. How's that barrack still around? Alright, they're down to 133 points. Nice. Oh, we're going to have a point victory here. What a comeback. <laughs> Seeing we actually we started are. watching it. <laughs> I'm parking some guys on F so I can get them replenished because I don't have enough to go face them alone. Do you need help taking out that other group or are you good? Nah, they're resource starved at this point. They can't so think, build anything. I think this is definitely an economy RTS. You gotta yeah. be able to out economy the other group. Because that's what's getting me right now. Is I didn't prioritize economy quick enough. And then I lost some stuff too early. Woo! That was yeah, bad. That was close. I mean, we very nearly lost. <laughs> yeah, like we were on the, the very edge of losing. <laughs> All right, yeah, you definitely, you, you whooped me there. Yeah. Well, I feel like you took the burn of attacks because you took the middle point, which is where all the attacks came for the first, like, third of the game. So what I kept doing was I kept taking that northernmost bridge and sniping their settlements to get me more resources, and then they would leave attacking you and finally wander back to their side to see what's going on. So I took a lot of the... Well, you took a lot of the heat. I took a lot of the the stat in the back. <laughs> now, so I'm on uh, I'm on the stat screen. I'm looking at economy. Yeah. Or income, and so you can see, like both the AIs, they uh, they stayed low pretty much the whole time, just kind of turtled their way along. You can see you spiked up pretty quick, and then we both climbed a bit together, and you know climbed more at the end as we took more things. I think that's interesting. They really just turtled. So they started out just turtling, and they kept it up. So. If we bum rushed him a little better, maybe we would have gotten it. I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah, I think. I mean, we were just figuring things out, and the AI knew what to go for, so they were playing the safe game, and we were having a hard time figuring out why we were choking to death. Yeah, that was fun though. I like that. Yeah, easy to pick up, but I feel like it has a lot of uh, potential uh, competitively. Yeah, I, I like that. It seems to be more of a micro game, like. Um, 
you know, unlike Total War, where you're going to be putting like 3,000 troops in the field on some of those battles, it, it definitely has more of that company of heroes feel where you're going village to village, kind of managing the, the smaller aspects. Uh, I also like that the economy um, doesn't involve a ton of micromanaging. It's just basic, like, point control. Yeah, for sure. So I'd say very good impressions. It's also running fantastically. I think this is Unreal 4, I'm pretty sure. Um, Op I'm getting 60 FPS. <laughs> Optimization is great. I'm getting a few of those Age of Empires 2 pathfinding problems, um, but for beta, I mean, nothing that really stands out. But yeah, like, it looks really nice, and it runs just flawlessly. I mean, most real-time strategy games never hit 60 frames per second. Yeah, so, I think the scope definitely helps this one out, but impressive yeah. for a beta either way. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I know that me and Jeremiah appear to have enjoyed it as well. <laughs> uh, we might come back to it. Yep, that was awesome. See you guys. All right. See you guys later.